Honeybees are one of the most important pollinators in our planet, but they face a deadly threat, Varroa destructor, a parasitic mite responsible for devastating honeybee colonies worldwide. However, new research has revealed a fascinating defense mechanism in some honeybee populations that could be a game changer in a fight against this deadly mite. This video is brought to you by Apis Tactical. If you're looking for a stylish and durable protective gear for beekeeping, be sure to check out Apis Tactical. This American brand is introducing exciting innovations to the field, starting with a robust and sleek looking glove. Link in the description of this video. Varroa destructor is an ectoparasitic mite that invades honeybee colonies, feeding on developing pupa and transmitting dangerous viruses. Without intervention, infestations can lead to colony collapse. Over the years, researchers have sought solutions to help bees survive this relentless parasite. A recent study has highlighted a unique honeybee behavior, cell recapping. This is when worker bees selectively uncap and then reseal brood cells, seemingly targeting those infested by mites. But why do they do this and how effective it is? The study analyzed honeybee populations from France, Sweden and Norway, some of which had naturally adapted to varroa infestations. Researchers found an interesting correlation between colonies with a higher rate of recapping having lower mite reproductive success, meaning the higher the recapping behavior, less viable female varroa mites were found. This behavior appeared to disrupt the mite's ability to reproduce, reducing their population over time. This discovery could pave the way for selective breeding programs. By encouraging colonies that naturally exhibit strong recapping behavior, beekeepers might be able to develop more resilient bee populations, reducing dependency on chemical treatments and preserving honeybee health. Are there more behaviors like that that we don't know about? How this information is used by beekeepers around the world to improve the overall health of honeybees? I will discuss this fascinating topic with Dr. Melissa Audi in my next live stream. The live stream is scheduled for March 13 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. This will be a great opportunity for all of us to learn more about the different ways bees are trying to protect themselves naturally against varroa mites, and also the launch of Dr. Audi's new book, Resisting Varroa, which she co-authored with Dr. Marlis Spivak and Dr. Stephen Martin. Please check them out, link in the description of this video. Nature has once again started to show signs of a potential solution hidden within the intricate behaviors of these incredible insects. By understanding and harnessing these natural defenses, we might have found a sustainable way to combat the varroa mite and ensure the survival of honeybee colonies for generations to come. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody at the live stream. Thanks for watching. Inside the Hive.tv, the show about bees. See you guys in the next one.